welcome folks to the 2018 NCHA Summer Spectacular. Kicking off the finals tonight, the Limited Open Classic Challenge. Joining me now is Terry Hollis, the newly crowned champion. Congratulations to you, Terry. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. What does it feel like to be you right now? Uh, excited, happy, happy for the honor. Uh, just glad to win here. It's always good to win here, always. Now, it was a mixed final, some low scores, some high scores. You came out and had a 220 to beat. What was your game plan? I just wanted to be clean and smooth and not get in a big hurry because I can do that really easy. So I just wanted to slow down and just be smart. That's okay. all. Now, you have won in here before, but it, yes. we were discussing earlier, it has been a long while between drinks. Yes. Tell us about your, your previous uh, In 96, I was second on a horse that belonged to Bob Eker, Doc Gelding. And in 2004, I won it here on a Doc Lean Twist Gelding. And that's the last time I made the finals. So what have you been doing in the meantime? I still train horses. I show a lot on the weekends and I have some good young horses. So just a little bit of a mixture of both. Okay. Now... Your score, 222. Tell us about your three cows, how your run felt. Describe it to us. Uh, the first cow I knew was a little black cow with a piece of shaving on it that I really liked. And the white cow was up there with her, but the black cow stayed up there, so I cut her first. The white cow, I, I didn't know her. We were a little skeptical of her, but she just walked up there, and she was really good. And I got to thank Craig Thompson and Rowdy and you know Sean Flynn and all my help, Boyd. And the cow, we cut the cows that we wanted. The last cow I didn't know, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't cut it with too much time and ended up getting, making a big mistake. Okay, with no semi-final, what, how does that change up the, the competition? I just, I just try to approach it like a weekend show. I try not to put all that pressure on myself because when it does, it just makes things kind of erratic for me. I just try to keep things slow and clean and I just do the best I can. It's, it's up to them to mark whatever they want. Okay, and uh, Isabella Ray, tell us about your horse. She's a dual Ray. Uh, a customer of mine bought her as a three-year-old. It belonged to a friend of mine that passed away a few years ago from cancer. Uh, and we, he, we've owned her, I've had her since she was a two-year-old. And she's a bit of erratic sometimes, like a dual Ray. But she's super, super cowy, super smart, and she tries 90% of the time. So I've enjoyed her. Okay, and with... Um, your horse now, what are the plans now that she's which she's age? Six. Well, the customer I was going to show her, Dr. Paul Thompson, but he got hurt. So we'll go to probably some of the small, the, the, maybe run up to the North Country, maybe and show her just the rest of the year. And he'll show her some because he's pretty disappointed he didn't get to show here because he got hurt. So I said we would make it up by going out west or something like that. I bet he's got a smile on his face at the moment, though. Yes, yes, I'm sure. So tell us now, we've had 100 degree days, um, you're from this area, yes. how have you been coping and training your horses? What time of the day do you get up and do that? Um, what's that challenge like at this time of year? It's, it's very difficult because we have to start so early. We start at 3 and try to be done, you know, 9, 10 o'clock because it's just too hot. But like this morning I worked there and before, you know, while it was dark, it's cool and I didn't show her to the evening so I was a little concerned about that. But it's just something, it's just a challenge for all of us, not just me, but a challenge for everybody to get through this heat. That's true, they just kind of make it fair, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> Spread yeah. across the board. Right. Thank you everyone, we've got more cutting tomorrow, we've got the non plug Classic Challenge getting underway, so be sure to watch the live cast on the CHC webcast. Good night.